in the early morning sun, everything looks fresh and crisp, ready to start the new day. The leaves spread out to the mellow rays of the sun to soak in the energy and start the process of photosynthesis. Now, let us wait and see what happens as the day progresses and the sun becomes harsher. The crispness vanishes. The plant looks tired. The leaves wilt and shrivel. This happens due to the loss of water molecules from the leaves through the stomata into the environment. But how does this happen? To understand this, let us see some simple experiments. Allow the jaggery to soak a while and then gently stir the water. The water takes the brown hue of the jaggery and turns sweet. Let's see what happens when a drop of ink is poured in a clean beaker of water. As you see, the ink gradually spreads in the entire water and gives it a nice blue hue. Let us now turn our attention to a third experiment. The hot smoke rises up and gradually fills the room. The aroma of the incense stick is felt in every corner of the room. So, what is common between the ink spreading in water, the jaggery dissolving in water and the aroma of the incense spreading in the whole room. The drop of ink has a high concentration of ink molecules and the water into which it drops has no ink molecules to begin with. So the ink spreads in water till the concentration of ink is uniform in the entire beaker. The molecules of ink are knocked about in different directions by the randomly moving molecules of water and they spread all over the body of water. This process is called diffusion. In the case of jaggery, the surface molecules are loosened from the lump by the collision with the water molecules. A little bit of stirring helps these molecules to spread out in the water. This is also diffusion. Diffusion of a solid in a liquid. Smoke spreading out in the room is an example of a gas diffusing with another gas, that is air. So diffusion can take place between two liquids, between a solid and a liquid and between two gases. But why are we discussing all this to explain the wilting of the sunflower plant? Let us take a close look at the sunflower leaves. There are tiny pores on the surface of every leaf. These are called stomata. Water rising to the leaves through the roots find their way out through the stomata. According to the law of diffusion, as long as there are more water molecules in the leaf as compared to the air surrounding the leaf, the water molecules will continue to diffuse out of the leaf by the process of evaporation. But the plant cannot afford to lose too much water. It needs water for different physiological processes. As the day warms up, the diffusion rate also increases. But when the temperature rises above 25 degrees centigrade, the diffusion rate gradually decreases due to closing of stomata 
to check the excess evaporation. When the soil temperature rises, the absorption of water from the soil decreases. The leaves shrivel when they get less water from the soil. The shriveling helps to close the stomata. The closed stomata prevent the moisture to escape into the atmosphere. Shriveling helps the plant to fight against drought condition. Diffusion is the most fundamental process in biological system. Although it is merely a passive physical process, it has enormous significance in physiological processes of plants and animals. Gaseous exchange in living organisms occur due to diffusion. Hormones released by the endocrine glands spread in the bloodstream due to diffusion. Enzymes from the cells are released due to diffusion. Roots absorb ions from the soil through diffusion. And of course, diffusion takes place during transpiration too.